So in this chapter, uh, we will uh, talk about notifications. Uh, noti what are notifications? Notifications are a way to inform the user that something happens. Sorry, for instance, hey, you received a mail, hey, you received a text, and so on. Or to say, something will happen. Hey, don't forget that you have a lecture in 10 minutes, and so on. So this is how notification works. So these notifications are only visible for some 10 amount of time. When you click on this uh, notification, you can stop the activity, but otherwise, the activity is still running. So here we face a problem, which is we have two views that are overlapping. We, are not a, we, we cannot do that for now. We only consider activities. So the use of fragment will solve this problem. OK, whatever. Uh, the goal of notification is to inform the user without being intrusive. So it uses a dedicated uh, space inside of your screen to display. And the user can choose to reply or not to this notification. So since Lollipop, uh, you have better notifications uh, that are more aesthetic uh, and allow more actions. So suppose you define your own application. You may think that your application is the most important thing in the phone. And so you may consider that uh, the notification of your application will be the top most application. Because when you have a lot of applications, the operating system will just reorder applications according to their importance. You are wrong. Your application is not the most important thing in the world. My application is. OK? So when you define your application, you have to define the priority of your notification. You have five levels of priority, max, which means something critical uh, that require immediate attention. For instance, uh, a text of your mom. No. Uh, for instance, uh, just the system has no more energy and stop. So clean uh, your mess and I stop. Uh, otherwise, you have high importance, which means you received an email, you received a text, you received something, okay, which is communication. So we consider that in a phone, communication is high level of importance. Otherwise, you have a minimal uh, information, which is uh, contextual information. It's raining. OK. I don't care. Or you can have low uh, notifications, uh, such as software upgrade. You may choose to upgrade your system to have the latest version. OK? And all the other applications are default notifications. OK? So if you develop a game, your notification should be default uh, notification. OK. OK, so how we can build uh, uh, a notification? We can use a builder, which uh, has one parameter, which is the context. Hey, it's me. I'm on the top of the back stack, and I want to display a notification. So I will build the builder from this uh, context. OK, then I can build my notification by setting a small icon. Smith setting a title, a text, and the priority. Here, I have something which is really important. OK? So now that I have built the notification, I have to get some system information, which is the notification service. We are on the Linux, so we can have services, and the services can be asked for something. And when I have grabbed this uh, service, I can ask for building and publishing 
the, the, the notification through the method build. Okay? And then your notification will be displayed on the screen. Okay, when you build notification, you have to be careful to many things. The first one is that your notification will display even if you lock your screen. Sometimes you don't want your notification to be visible for the rest of the world. For instance, if you are on Tinder, you may not want to be interrupted with a Tinder notification. Okay? So, you have to fix the visibility to your notification. There are three levels of uh, visibility. Public, display the contents of the notification and the logo and so on. Private, only display the basic information of your notification. You received a notification from Tinder, for instance, or visibility secrets, which is you received the notification. Then you have to click on the notification to open the app and then perform some action. Okay? And you can also choose to cancel uh, or suppress a notification uh, programmatically. And so you can use the cancel or cancel all uh, method. Okay? You can observe that cancel takes an int, which is an integer you have to fix, which is a unique identifier which refers to your notification. If you use twice the same identifier, the notification will be only updated. If you want to have multiple notifications for the same application, you have to fix different numbers. Okay, this is for notification, but yeah, there are also other kind of notification. For instance, toasts. Uh, toasts are only uh, contextual messages where the user cannot interact. So this is used to say, OK, action performed, or something like that. OK, so to make a toast, it's quite simple. Only one line or two if you are on a slide uh, of code. So you just write .make text, the context. Here, the, the application context, my text, toast.length short. It means that during two seconds, the toast will display. Otherwise, we can use the length longs for 3.5 seconds. You can also fix the position inside of the screen of your toast by combining top and left if you want the application to be on the upper left part of your screen. And you can fix the offset for this, from this position. Finally, there are customized toast. Uh, you want you may want to build your own toasts, and this toast uh, can handle a view. Can handle a view, and for instance, you can decide to put some view and some text inside of your notification, and so you will build your view only through a layout. Only through a layout, which will be defined in XML, and then you have to build your view. From now, we use set content view to build our view, but sometimes we want to inflate some view, and we have to know the tools to do that. And the tools is the layout inflator, so you can grab the layout inflator and then ask for inflate some resource. Here, the layout, toast layout, and so on. So you can build your in user interface and display it just by building the, the toast and so on. OK? Finally, uh, you may want to develop uh, an alert dialog. It means that you want to block your application until the user has performed some action. For instance, do you want to delete this, on this entry? Yes, no. There is no alternative. So this is alert dialog component. And once more, it's quite simple. You, you use a builder. You set the title, you set the message, and the icon. And then you can, uh, you can fix 
um, action for buttons. For instance, the positive button, which is OK, you can do something. Here, I decided to implement an unclick listener, which will be triggered when I click the OK button. And this unclick will perform something and so on. OK? And then you have to call the show method to display your toast. OK, one last uh, notification, uh, snack bar. Snack bar are not, are not non-intrusive notification uh, with only one button maximum. So it's just to say OK. And you have to update your toolchain to do that if you use uh, all version of uh, Android Studio. And in your Gradle, you have to add the line compile.com.android.support and so on. And then you can build your own snack bar with make. Some text, some, uh, some options. And then you can set the action with the unclick listener. OK? So to sum up, uh, we have seen a lot of components to notify the user that something happened. And using this kind of uh, component helps to have homogeneous uh, applications. So we, it helps to have an ecosystem in Android uh, where all applications use the same uh, components to do the same things. And you have to choose carefully your application according to what you want. If you want to just notify uh, the user, don't use an alert dialog. OK, if you want some action, use a snack bar. If you want more actions, use an alert dialog, and so on. OK? Uh, there are also other kind of uh, notification uh, to inform that the user that something happens. I'm downloading the latest uh, movies. And this is a progress status bar, but we have to uh, know more things before diving into that. So this is it. <laughs>